Is C-sharp strongly, statically, weakly, or dynamically typed? Okay, to start, the Python, C-sharp, and JavaScript code for this demonstration is on my GitHub. You can also find it on my website. Feel free to connect with me on Twitter or LinkedIn and like and subscribe. So you might get this as an interview question if your interviewer wants to know whether you understand core concepts in C-sharp and .NET. You also might get this from a Seymour type senior programmer like this. Is C-sharp strongly typed or weakly typed? <laughs> or is C-sharp statically typed or dynamically typed? Now, believe it or not, strongly and statically are not synonyms. They're two totally different concepts. So let me explain it with this. Think of types as the nouns of a programming language. This is a Coke Zero. I know it's a Coke Zero because it says so on the label. If I open it up, I can be pretty darn sure that I'm getting a Coke Zero. So think of type checking like the label on a soda can. That way I know when I enter the refrigerator, I'm grabbing a Coke Zero instead of a Sprite or a beer. And types are important because the greatest sin in programming is to have your program do something unexpected. You don't want to open up your Coke can and get a beer. Types let us understand exactly what we're getting when we're writing code. I know an integer is an integer. I know it's not a decimal. I know a decimal is a decimal. I know a Boolean is true or false. So why is type checking important? Well, it's so that you don't do something crazy like this and try to divide an integer by a Boolean. Coke is Coke and beer is beer. So let's talk about statically and dynamically typed languages. So in a statically typed language, all the type checking happens at compile time. Think of it like having a very special place inside your refrigerator that's just for Coke Zero, and you check each can as it goes into that special place. When you grab a can from that special place, you know you're getting Coke Zero. In a dynamically typed language, type checking happens at runtime. Think of it like throwing a bunch of random cans in your refrigerator and only checking them when you pull one out. Now, statically typed languages are slower to compile. Remember, you're type checking everything when you compile, so you're checking each can as you put it in the refrigerator. The advantage is that statically typed languages are gonna be much faster at runtime. Since you already did all the work at compile time, when you reach for a Coke, you know you're getting a Coke. When you reach for an integer, you know it's gonna be an integer. Dynamically typed languages are faster to compile, but slower at runtime. You also run the risk of type exceptions if you think you did all your conversions but missed one. So C Sharp is a statically typed language. It's the equivalent of making sure all my Coke's in a special place, all my beer's in a special place, all my Sprite is in a special place. Now a language like Python is a dynamically typed language. I can create num1, I can create num2, and then I can sum these two together. Visual Studio is not yelling at me, and it won't yell at me until I actually try to run the program and I get an exception. Dynamically typed languages can be the equivalent of reaching into your refrigerator for a soda and only finding out that you grabbed a beer when you're in your car and get pulled over. Officer, I am not drunk. I am just writing software in Python. Now this doesn't mean dynamically typed languages are bad, and it certainly doesn't mean that Python is bad, but you need to know what you're getting into. Now let's talk about strongly typed and weakly typed languages. Strongly typed languages don't allow implicit conversions. Weakly typed languages allow you to do all kinds of implicit conversions. So let's say I'm at a bar in Maryland and I order a Coke. If the bartender doesn't have Coke, he might say, is Pepsi okay? Because I need to tell the bartender explicitly that I desire to make the conversion from Coke to Pepsi. But let's say I'm at a bar in Georgia and I ask for a Coke. Now in some parts of the American South, all soft drinks are called Coke. So if the bartender only has Pepsi, he's going to perform that conversion from Coke to Pepsi without me asking for it. Now, C Sharp is a strongly typed language. If I want to take this decimal and I want to assign it to this integer, I can't do this. I get an implicit conversion error. I need to tell C Sharp, hey, um, do this conversion from decimal to int 32 in order for this to work. Now, languages like JavaScript are weakly typed. For example, I have a uh, integer right here. I have a decimal right here. I can add the two numbers together and I can do this with no problem at all. Oh, oh, what about the var keyword? Does var make C sharp a weakly typed language? Well, no, it doesn't, Seymour, because var is typed. It's typed at compile time. .NET is smart enough to know what the type should each be. So in this case, I'm using var for an integer and I'm using var for a uh, double. I can sum this with var, 
just fine. I can even create a new double and I can attach the new double to sum just fine because sum is smart enough to know, oh, I must be a double. But this isn't going to work. I can't create an integer and then assign sum to integer even though technically the sum is going to be three and is to us an integer. We would need to manually perform the conversion from Coke to Pepsi and turn that double into an integer. What about the dynamic keyword? Does that make C sharp dynamic? Look, man, I play basketball, but I wouldn't call myself a basketball player. The dynamic keyword doesn't make C sharp a dynamically typed language. So roundabout.net 4.0, uh, Microsoft introduced the dynamic keyword, which allowed you to turn off some compile time checking. It's actually pretty useful if let's say you have to port some Python code over and you don't have time to convert it from Python to C sharp. You just want to use the more natural Python syntax. Or let's say you're making a scripting language that someone else is going to be using that features dynamic typing. The dynamic keyword is really good for that. But dynamic typing can be dangerous. So don't consider it a get out of type free card. So to wrap it all up, C sharp is statically typed and strongly typed. The var keyword is typed at compile time, and the dynamic keyword allows C sharp to turn off compile time type checking. Good luck on your next interview. <laughs>